Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools Let's Build, where we help scrappy bootstrappers just like yourself figure out how to supercharge their workflows by utilizing low code and no code solutions. Now, before we dive into today's topic, make sure to check out our YouTube channel. We got lots of videos up there that talk about all sorts of low code and no code options out there, including Retool, App Sheets, Google Sheets itself, if you believe that, uh, Data Studio, as well as many others. If you don't see what you're looking for, feel free to shoot an email over to feedback at bootstrapping.tools. We'll be happy to take a look at that application and possibly make a video just for you. Now, in today's topic, we're going to be talking about Google Sheets and Google Forms. If you haven't used either of these, Google Sheets is a great, you know, it's basically Excel just in the web and it helps you collaborate. And you can also overlay it with, uh, with Google's app editor or script editor and supercharge some of your uh, workflows in there to automate the processes. The Google Forms is just like a, you know, any type of survey tool out there. You can generate a bunch of questions on there. There are people who use it as quizzes, uh, you know, for, for all the teachers out there. Uh, but you can essentially use that for anything. And when you connect the two together, it really allows you to dive deep into the responses that you're getting in those forms. Uh, whenever someone submits uh, a response, you can then lay that uh, underneath of a data studio report if you choose to, and then really drive some insights in there. But uh, normally though, if you just have Google Forms, it's just gonna stay up there and you can use their UI to see what the response rates are like. It gives you some nice charts. Um, but in today's video, we're going to show you how to connect Google Forms to Google Sheets so that you can do even more with the data um, that you're getting from those responses. Uh, but enough said, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so up on the screen here, we have a brand new spreadsheet uh, that we just opened up. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you're going to be able to hook up a Google Form to a Google Sheet. The first way is going to be through your Google Sheet. So up top in the tools option in the menu bar, if you click on that, you're going to see a little button that says create a form. If you click on that, it's going to actually redirect you over to Google Forms and that, uh, that suite in that application. It's going to automatically generate something with the same title or name as your spreadsheet. So in here, if you go back over to our uh, Google Sheet, you're going to see on the bottom, we got a new tab that's called form responses. And then this little purple icon that's next to it, uh, just indicates that it's linked over to a Google form. So if you were to remove this, you're gonna have to unlink it first. Um, you also notice that in the menu bar, there's a new option called form now. And then within here, you can go directly to the form that's linked. You can edit that, you can embed it. You can also unlink uh, if you wanted to. But let's go over to that tab. You're gonna notice that there's a timestamp uh, field for column A now. That's going to just auto populate when people submit things on the form. And then there's also an untitled question, which is just the question that we have right here. So if we rename this, it's going to automatically update our Google spreadsheet. So over here, so what's your, and then it should just take a little bit of more time to what's your name. And then also if we add another question, it'll be what's your email, let's say. <clears throat> and that should update in our Google sheet as well. Let's give it a little bit of time because it needs to sync up to and over here. As we see it, once your email, if we wanted to update that, let's say we forgot the question mark, so we'll just put that in. It's gonna automatically update it in the Google Sheet since we are connected um, the form and the sheet. So that's step one, uh, or, or, or that's the method number one for you to add in a form to your Google Spreadsheet. And if people were to add in data to it, let's hit preview and say Joe and then Joe at Joe.com. Once you submit that, you go over here, you'll see that it's been submitted. So now that your data is going directly into a spreadsheet, you know, no matter how many, I guess, questions that you have, you can ask a bunch of things. You can use this as an MPS score um, survey if you want to track that all in here and then overlay this with a bunch of calculations, whatever you want. But it's really powerful now that that data is going in here. Now, the second way that you can actually hook things up is actually by going directly to Google Forms. And then when you create a brand new form, do whatever you want in there. Let's, uh, let's just call this test form. What you're actually going to do is in the responses um, tab up on the top over here, you click on that, there's going to be a little spreadsheet option. When you click on that, a little pop up is going to appear. And it's going to ask you if you want to create a brand new spreadsheet or if you want to select from an existing, if you select from an existing, uh, we'll actually do that in this um, demo here, you select that, and you pick the one that we want, which is the demo one, it's going to open that up for you. And now you'll see on the bottom over here, we have a 
uh, a connection to form responses one, which is the original one, method one that we just did a few minutes ago. Uh, now we also have form responses two, which is this new Google form that we just created and linked over to our spreadsheet. You'll see here that it's untitled question. I'm trying to make this a little bigger for everybody to see. Untitled question, and it's really the same thing. If we update it here, it's going to automatically update. So we can say, what's your name to just to differentiate between the two ones. So you can see what's your name to, and then also form responses. We still have all of that and each form will be tied directly to um, the specific tab uh, that is connected to. So let's just say test three, we submit this. And going back over to our spreadsheet, we'll see that form responses one, which is the first one that we connected, doesn't have any of that information. If we go over to form responses two, we can see that test three was added uh, to our spreadsheet. But that's basically how you're going to connect uh, Google Forms to Google Sheets. Uh, once you do this, you can do whatever you want with the data. You can create charts and stuff out of it, um, really, if you want. But essentially, once you're getting your responses dynamically into your Google Sheet, you can use any other feature or function out uh, that's held within Google Sheets if you wanted to, as well as any integrations with Google Sheets that you might have, whether that's importing into your database or laying it uh, on top uh, of a Power BI dashboard um, or any type of business intelligence tool that you might have. Uh, really, whatever you want, custom scripts. It's pretty powerful once you get the data out there and it's going to be in like a raw fo format, so you can really use it for whatever you want. But if you did want to unlink it, you can unlink it from here, just in the form option in the menu bar, or you can just go to any of the forms that you have. But that's essentially it. That's how you're going to connect Google Forms to Google Sheets. You can use either one of those methods. Either if you're starting from a Google Sheet, you just go over to the menu bar option, click on tools, and then click on create a form. Or if you already have your Google Forms set up and you want to connect it to a spreadsheet, whether it's new or an existing one, you go over to the responses tab, then you click on the uh, spreadsheet, the Google Sheets icon, which is up, uh, located on the upper right. Click on that and then it's going to pop up modal where you can choose to either create a brand new spreadsheet for it or add it to an existing spreadsheet where you'll get a selector and all that. Once you connect it, it'll just add in a new tab that says form responses and then it just iterates if it's one, two or three, depending on how many forms you've connected to it. But if you did run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment in the section below. Uh, if you had a problem, most likely somebody else did. So don't be shy. Uh, it's fine if you're the first person to ask. We're always here to help uh, and we'll try to respond to you as soon as we can. But if you did like this video, make sure to hit that like button. It's the best way to support this channel and help us continue to make content for all of you scrappy bootstrappers out there who are looking to supercharge their workflows. Of course, we got lots of videos coming up. Uh, we're actually going to follow up on this um, Google Forms and Google Sheets with a couple of more videos where we're going to be talking about uh, being able to automate some of that, including like sending email triggers as well as uh, dynamically sending drop downs, as well as a couple other topics. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell so that you get notified when those videos get released. But I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools. Let's build. It's been a pleasure. And we're out.